people of the verse. Hello and welcome to the channel. It's the Eradicator, and today we've had a new Star Citizen PTU patch. Star Citizen Alpha 3.11.1e, and I am now at Port Orsel. Look at that! What do we have in the radar? A Mercury Star Runner. It is. Um, it is here. Not for me, unfortunately. It is only available for Evo Kennys and certain content creators. I guess that CIG doesn't like me because they did not give me access to the Mercury Star Runner. I know that Montoya has the Mercury Star Runner. I've seen that on his Twitter. Good for him. Uh, good for him. I guess I should be... Uh, I, I guess I should never criticize CIG again and always praise CIG. Maybe they'll give me uh, the ships in advance in the future. But that's not what I'm gonna do, guys. If I have something that to say, even if there's something not good to say, I will still say it because that's what I do. Um, like it or not, I will always criticize things that need to be criticized and I will always praise things that need to be praised. Alright, so, uh, now I want to be, give a big shout out to Gray and Quantum Reaction as well, uh, as well as uh, Bean Soup here. These are all the people here who uh, are Evo Caddy and gave access to the Mercury Star Runner to the people like me, you know, like the plebeians who do not have access to the Mercury Star Runner. So, uh, we'll be flying here right next to this one here above the pads of uh, of Port Orizar and we'll be discovering the inside of that ship here that I am really, really, really waiting for, guys. I own a Mercury Star Runner. This ship is very beautiful. This ship looks like it is fantastically well done and I am really really looking forward to be flying this ship in the verse today in this video we're going to have our very first impression of this ship we'll go inside and see uh, what is um, what I like and maybe things that I don't like so much so let's have a look here and uh, we'll be uh, flying in EVA around the ship look at how sleek that ship looks it's fantastic I like the little uh, red outlines at the same time there's the cockpit too. This ship was really designed. It, this ship really looks like it was designed, like it was made to be flying, to be flown in atmosphere. It looks very aerodynamic, very sleek. It looks like there's not going to be a lot of friction uh, when flying in atmosphere, and I can't wait to see how it is going to be performing. You know, when, as we go to uh, landing zones, you know, flying in atmosphere. And uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go inside. Those landing pads. Did you see the the landing uh, the landing gear? Those landing gear look really big. A little bit uh, too big to my taste. Now let's have a look. Let's go. Sorry about this. Uh, this is the uh, Eradicator right that you might have seen several. Uh, I mean, you have heard several times uh, in my videos. She is with me today. There's another one here. There's another Mercury Star Runner flying outside of uh, Port Orissa. We'll be also looking at how this thing flies and looks from the outside this is looking quite brilliant i wish they could have sun i wish it could have flown just in front of that sun so we could have had a mercury star runner eclipse maybe no i'm just joking well it definitely does have a unique profile when you look at it from uh, from a certain distance but uh, enough of the uh, exterior let's have a look at the interior now and this is the uh, oh Oh no, let's not fall here. This is the cargo compartment, which is looking quite big. Wow, let's have a look at that Mercury Star Runner flying just outside of us here. That is beautiful. That's a beautiful shot here. Again, big shout out to all of the Evo Caddies who have been flying the Mercury Star Runner for us and giving us access to the ship uh, in the PTU. You guys are absolutely awesome. So what do we have here? Uh, looks like we have a little compartment here, which is... Um, well, we don't know what's here. Probably they have some components. Yeah, the Quantum Drive is located here. It holds 114 SCU of cargo, says Admiral Grofers. That is also confirmed, which is great. It's a good surprise, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one and definitely more than the 96 SCU of cargo that were originally advertised. This is the server room here. Let's not forget that the Mercury Star Runner is also going to be a data runner too when we finally have data in the game. And some uh, extra extra data and a seat here. What seat is that? Is that a turret here? Enter support seat. Hmm, I'm not sure that uh, this is going to be uh, very useful when the game is released. Two more seats here. The turret and a turret. Okay, so probably the top turret 
and the bottom. Yeah, that's right. So this one goes up, this one goes down. Okay, it's great. Uh, it's great that everything here is at the same time. What if we go here? Got some. Looks like they look like backpack here. This looks like the crew compartment. Computer. Yes, some bunk beds here. All right, this is definitely the crew compartment. We've got three beds here for the crew. Oh, we can turn off the lights. Lights on. Lights up. Super cool. Super cool. We can turn off the lights and. Here we have open. What do we open here? What's this? The toilets! Oh yeah, cool! So we can open and close the toilets uh, from here. There we have it, guys. So yeah, it's not like in the in the it's not like in the drag shape. In the drag shape, like the cutlass, you have no toilets. <laughs> but here uh, we got all the facilities available for all of you guys out there who fly. Uh, in the verse. Oh, there is the little recreation room. Nice red sofa. I love the red leather here, by the way, in this ship with the little kitchen and a table here. We can turn off the lights. Boom! Turn off, turn on. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm gonna play with this a lot. <laughs> and um, yeah, in the future, this will probably be functional. And we've got here the chessboard. Now, I was told something very impressive. Look at that. We can carry this. So let's carry one of those pawns here. All right, I got one of the pawns. And then we're going to place it. Boom! Here, we can play chess, guys. Mind blown. When I saw that, I was like, wow, we can play chess <laughs> in the verse, in the Mercury Star Arena. This is the very first, guys. And this is big. This is a big deal. This is the very first mini game that we have in the verse right now it is here it is working i just wished that we had a little chair a stool whatever in front of that table but this is the very first mini game that is working in the verse right now for all of our long haul travels or maybe for the crew let's say we have a crew inside the mercury star now the crew is bored there's nothing to do well i can play chess <laughs> so yeah finally it is here and uh, yeah, the Mercury Star right now will have gameplay, says Jericho, right? <laughs> and yeah, we do need us to absolutely more games. Says I was able to try out a friend's MSR, and I was so excited to use uh, to use mine. And I agree, it's the best ship in the game right now. Absolutely. Well, here's what I think. That's not a chess movie, right? I know it was not a chess move. I was just randomly placing the. I haven't played chess for years. Maybe I haven't played chess in, in for 15 years, right? Um, all right. So let's have a look here. I can go to the pilot seat. The pilot seat is uh, already uh, taken. Uh, but this is the uh, this is the the co-pilot seat. So I want to hear the voice. I want to hear the voice of Cruiser because each ship manufacturer has its own little voice. Oh my gosh! So it's blue. I was so disappointed. I was hoping for another color because some ships have, you know, yellow and orange and green. I was hoping maybe purple, right, for cruise there in their ships, or 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 red or something like that, or pink. But yeah, nothing. Just just blue here. That that's 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 disappointing. Also the voice. <laughs> the voice, because we know, we know Crusader Industries is an SJW company. They've been saying it many times. It's in the verse, and it sounds like some kind of SJW uh, feminist woman. That the voice is absolutely horrible. I hate, I hate the voice of the uh, of, of the bot here that that's, uh, that 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 welcomes you in in Crusader Industries. But that's okay. I'm not here for the voice. I'm just here for the cool of the ship and that cockpit. And we can see, we can even see below the little. Uh, we can see below the computers here. I hate the voice too, Amiel Griffiths, but it's not important. <laughs> Nobody cares about the voice, right? Okay, so yeah, that cockpit looking very sleek. Just the voice is a little bit horrible. But again, guys, this is just a first impression video. I will be making more videos of the Mercury Star Runner, especially when I finally have access to the Mercury Star Runner. Uh, then you can be sure I'll be uh, doing combat. I'll be upgrading it. And we'll be flying it in atmosphere. I want a Japanese voice. It's very cool. Yeah, a Japanese voice. That would be... Uh, that would be also quite nice. I was trying to look for the uh, hidden compartments here, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I haven't, I haven't found the the compartment. I was thinking maybe here in one of the aeration shaft, but yeah, I, I, I just don't know where the hidden compartments are in the MSR. Gonna, that's probably going to be another video for another day. So yeah, very impressed here. 
Uh, and um, yeah, I think that the, the devs did a very solid job. This is going to be my future home in the verse. I know that a lot of people say, oh, my, I have my home in the verse. My home is the character. For me, guys, the home is going to be the Mercury Star. Now, oh, uh, Siekan says that the hidden compartments are in the floor. It's on the floor in one of the scanner rooms. Oh, well, I didn't know. I, didn't, I couldn't find those. Okay, in the crew area on the floor. Well, see you guys, that's that's gonna be another video for another day. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look here at uh, at the exterior once more. Look at that. The cargo bay has one as well. Okay, very cool. Very cool. That ship is absolutely amazing. Is it gonna be better than than the um, than the constellation? I don't think so. The constellation is going to be a better <laughs> combat ship, I think. Is it gonna be better than the Freelancer Max? I don't think so as well. The Freelancer Max is gonna have more cargo. The Freelancer Max is also going to be better at combat. The Freelancer Max is going to have much better shields as well. So again, it really depends on what you want to do with this ship. As far as I'm concerned, you know, for, for speed, because I'm looking for speed uh, for these kind of ships, yes, it's going to be a better ship. But again, if you're going to dangerous places, you want to have, if you have only one ship, if I had only one ship, I wouldn't want to have a Mercury Star right now because, because it's just not good enough at doing everything. Uh, but uh, if, if you want to use this as a secondary ship to do some small scale cargo, go from one place to another as quickly as possible, while at the same time, keeping the comfort of your amenities, then definitely. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts as just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.